Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do another three looks one palette. We've got an exciting one today. It's a colourful one. We can't do nothing but colour on this one. Um, so I am going to be doing three looks using my September Rose slush palette. It's one of my favourite palettes that I have. It's one of the most fun palettes that I have. It is a rainbow. It's a mixture of mattes and shimmers but it's like colours in every colour scheme or like shades of colours in every colour scheme. So you've got light and dark shimmery and matte pinks, light and dark and neon shimmery matte oranges, um, greens, even a yellow. There's a shimmery white in this palette. It's so good. Um, purple, uh, blues and then purples, all the same, all shimmers and mattes and a variation of colour. So you have, you can do it all pink, all orange, all green and yellow, all blue and all purple look if you wanted to, or you can do what I do and mix and match. Um, I've already done a look with this palette when I was got heading out um, one time. It's called, if you type in colour saturation, that's the name of the video. Um, and I just did a big like rainbowy kind of look with it. Um, quite a strong look, it's a fun one. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to mix and match. So with this I was like, well let's do some fun, some fun things with it. Um, so I hadn't used blue and purple in a while, so that's why I did this look. Um, so this is look number one, and then I've got two more after that. Um, we're just, it's just, it's just nice. It's just great. It blends great. I love it. Um, I love the textures. I love the colors. I love the tones of colors. It's such a mix and a difference of each color. Um, it's just great. It's very appealing to look at as well, and very appealing to use. So we are gonna do some swatches. There's twenty five shades. So bear with me, okay? Um, I'm. I'm going to do a bit differently. Instead of going across, I'm going to go down the rows. I'm going to do all the pinks, all the oranges, all the greens and yellow and the blues and the purples. So we're going to do all the swatches on my arm so you can see them and I'll give a little description of them all. And yeah, let's get going. Okay, so you obviously get a nice mirror in this as well. I don't really use the mirror to be fair. Um, it could have been bigger actually now that I look at it. I actually don't even notice when there's mirrors in palettes anymore because I never use them. Um, but it's just nice. So let's get on with it. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down like this. I'm going to start with the shade Cotton Candy, which is a neon pink. So... We'll see how many rows I fit on my arm. But you can see there, it's really smooth. The mattes in this are very, very smooth. Um, minus one or two might not be as smooth. Like some of the deeper blues can be a little bit patchy, especially when they swatch, but they still work. You'll see them in action in a lot of videos um, that I have done or will do. Um, but that is Cotton Candy. Next up, we've got the shade Strawberry, which is the shimmery pink. It's kind of a cool tone shimmery pink as well. It almost has a little bit of a, like a lilac kind of undertone in it. can see there it's just very soft very nice nice bit of shimmer nice metallic next then we have pink lemonade which is a matte and it's more of a hot pink so to me now like that's a bright kind of more neon -y pink where this is a hot pink it's more like pow in your face um and that is how this one looks I'd say this one's maybe a little bit drier but I mean it still swatches great you can see the difference between the two pinks, the two matte pinks there. They're just so nice. They just work so well. Next up, we've got Cherry Lemonade, which I don't actually think I've even used this colour yet. I should, though. It's a really interesting purple. It's definitely more of like a purpley pink, so more of like a berry pink. So a lot deeper. Almost like a muted pink, if that makes sense. So you can see what I mean when I say like you can do pink in loads of different ways in this palette if you wanted to. It's up to yourself then. And then the last one is Sour Cherry, which I'm going to use on my baby finger. And this is more like a cherry. So it's still deeper. But there is a bit more punch than that last one, the cherry limeade sorry if i said lemonade it's limeade it's a bit more punchy but that is the pink color scheme and it's so beautiful okay so next up we're going to go into the orange this one up here is peach smoothie it's just like a mid-tone bright orange because there is a neon orange which is really really fun and he's gonna go right there like still super bright like you could totally classify that as a neon orange but it's still super bright and it's matte as well 
Next shade is Mango, which is a shimmer. It's kind of the same color if you look at them, but one is shimmer. So that's really nice as well. And this is just really, really gorgeous shimmer. I still have lipstick on my cheek. And even the shimmers are so nice. You can use glitter glue on them if you want them to be a bit more punchy as well, but it's just really, really pretty. Next up is going to be orange soda, which is the neon orange. Who loves orange soda? If you know that reference, you're as old as I am. <laughs> um, I'm 25, by the way. So yeah, that's a Keenan and Kel reference if you don't know. And if you don't, go look it up. It is hilarious. But yeah. That is our orange soda shade. It is beautiful. Still different from that other matte orange. More bright, more punchy. But it just it's it's just nice to have that bit of difference. If you did want to do more of a neon look for like a summer festival or not that we're going to be going on festivals, but like for anything like that, you can you have the options with this. It's just a per to me it's a perfect colourful palette to add to your collection of everything else. If you don't do a lot of colour. Just get this kind of colour. You can just mix and match it, add them in and do what you want. Next up we've got Tropical Fruit. And he's a shiver and he's a bit of a deeper orange. Not quite burnt orange. He's just more like a... What would be the word? You know like the inside... What, what would you even say? Like a blood orange. That's the word I'm looking for. So it's almost like a curly orange. And that's a shimmer as well. And it's just gorgeous. It's fabulous. Beautiful. And then to go with that one, we've got Tiger's Blood, which is a matte down here. Also more of a blood orange and it's matte, so it's a little bit darker. But when I say darker, I mean darker as in brighter. Look at that. That is just, that is just a warm sunset heaven. It's fabulous. I love it. Okay, so next up we've got coconut milk, which is our shimmery. It's it's white, but like not white. It's like an off white, but when it's shiny, it looks kind of white. I'm gonna do that right up here. By the way, I cleaned my arm and dried it, so it's not wet. It's completely dry, and there is no primer on any of these swatches, by the way. So that is coconut milk. It's gorgeous. I actually have it on my inner corner, in here, which I'll probably do for most of my looks. Um, it's just very nice. It's very nice having that shimmery, light, almost white shade just to add to these and you can use it to lighten other colours as well. Next up we've got Banana and you can guess is the Lello. And it's matte so that's lovely. And it's a great yellow, like it's a great matte yellow. It's hard to come by. As much as purples are hard, this is hard. To get a yellow to be punchy like that and still stand out but still the yellow, because yellow is still a softer colour. It's just really, really hard, but that's really nice yellow. Next then we've got Lemon and Lime, which is the lighter of the greens. You'll probably see this in one of the looks that I do. And this is matte. There is no shimmery green, which you will miss in this palette. But what you could do is have something like that green and then put the coconut milk on top of it and make it look shimmery. So can always do that or add glitter always fun next up we've got cucumber lime which is the middle green also matte and yeah i would say that's definitely more of like a cucumber kind of color i'd say this is more like a pastel lime to me lime is a bit more punchy than that but this would be more like your cucumber color it's very nice and then the last one is sour apple it is kind of like an emerald green really nice it's really strong as well oh he's lovely yes i like it I like that color so um so onto our blues we've got bubble gum which i have on the kind of inner you might be able to see the inner part of my lid there it's like a almost white with a blue kind of sheen to it very pretty Even something like that over one of the greens would be nice as well. But yeah, it's just, it's it's nice to have that like icier kind of blue. <clears throat> Next up then is Blue Hawaiian, which I've used to kind of blend all around this purple here that I have going on. My hair is driving me nuts. 
keeps getting stuck in my eyelash. <laughs> um, this is the satin finish again. So it's not completely matte. Even though I did use it in my crease, it still worked fine. Um, but it's not completely matte. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, sea blue. Very pretty, like a, like you're in Fiji or a Bora Bora. And it's all blue. It's lovely. Next then is the main colour that I have on my lid here. This is Blue Lagoon. And this is gorgeous metallic blue does tiny bit of gold reflect off it it's beautiful and bright then we've got blue raspberry which i'm not sure if this is the color that i put in my least favorite colors in my palettes because i know i did in one of them um but this is kind of like almost like a royal blue um it kind of has a bit of a purple tone to it it was either this one or the next one it could have been this one though not exactly sure. This one doesn't swatch great. It's still a lovely colour and on the eye it still looks lovely. But it doesn't come out as strong as it looks in the pan. And then last up we've got blue. It's either Curacao or Curacao. You can correct me. I'm, I'm never sure. Anytime I order a cocktail with that word in it. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. This one is also kind of hard, hard packed. There is little flecks of shimmer in it, but they don't really show up on the skin. Yeah, so it's, like the deeper blues don't swatch great, but they do perform very well on the eye. Which if you want to see how the deeper blues turn out, especially this one I'm pretty sure I used um, in my colour saturation video, go give that a look. I'll even link it down below if I remember to. But that is the blues. The darker blues, not my favourites in the palette, but the lighter blues, fabulous. Okay, we're on the home stretch for the palette. Um, we're gonna go into our purple. So first up here, we've got raspberry, which is a lilac -y, like a paler purple. Fabulous. This is, is it a satin? I think it's a satin. It is quite pale now, to be fair. So it would need a bit of building. But it's still really nice and it's great working with the other purples in this palette, because you do have a good few mattes in this with the purples. Next up we've got Berry Blast, which is the shimmery purple. This is gorgeous. This is so shiny as well. Look at that. Look at that for purple. That's a fabulous purple. Then we've got Grape, which I have on my eyes right now in my crease. Which is a matte mid-tone, leaning on the cooler side of purple, so not too pink. that's how that looks and then we've got dark cherry which leans a little bit more on the pink also a matte we're down here so this definitely means a bit more pink you can see the difference there and then we're on to our last one and that is black currant which is dark the darkest purple here which I have on the very outer corner of my eye. This is a gorgeous purple, especially on the eye. It's beautiful. Even swatch as well. Like, think about all the different times you've bought a purple eyeshadow and they don't turn out great. These are great. In my opinion, these are fab purples. Those colors are so nice. So that is all the swatches for this palette. They are lovely. I love this palette. Yes, the blues are a little bit iffy on the darker side, but they're fine Um, they're workable they work well once they're actually on the face they're just don't swatch well but you can have a look at all the colors have a look at my other video that i did with this have a look at the rest of the colors that i'm gonna do this because i'm gonna do fun bits with this mix and match all the colors together and yeah let's have a little bit of fun so if you like the look of this look and want to see two more looks using this palette then let's watch i'm feeling blue and purple today um, I feel like I haven't done blue and purple together in so long. So I'm feeling some of the matte purples and some of the shimmery blue. Um, yeah, a bit of mermaid vibes, hence why I'm wearing shells as earrings. That's what I'm, that's the vibe we're gonna go for. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I have on my face first. First, I've got on my Pro Longwear Foundation from MAC. I've also got my Benefit Cabrao um, in the shade 2. And I'm about to put on 
my P. Louise base as my eyeshadow primer for these colours. Don't know whether I'm going to do a cut crease. We'll see. I'll see how the blending in the crease looks. Um, because I am going to start with the purples and probably blend it with a little bit of blue. Maybe do a bit of blue on the lid. And that's where we're going to go with it. So let's pop on our base. Okay, so let's start with some colour. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I usually do like light to dark in my crease. I start with my lighter colours and then build up to my darker colours. But I'm actually going to start with my medium colour. Blend that out and then like my darker colour and then blend that out and then a little bit of the blue. um, Because I want a little hint of blue in the look. So I'm going to actually start with the shade Grape. This guy right here. It's like not the deepest. I will be using this one. Um, It's not the deepest of the purples, the matte purples. So it is matte and it's a gorgeous purple. I'm taking this on a MAC 221. And we're just going to start because I do want it to be quite prominent at this purple there. And I also want the blue to be quite prominent. So that's the kind of vibe we're going for. I'm going yellow. Why am I going yellow? Okay, so I'm taking that on my 221 brush and we're just going to pop that to the outer corner. And bring it into the crease. Don't go too crazy with blending it up too high. I mean, I probably will because that's just how I am as a person. <laughs> um... But try to leave yourself some space for the blue that we will be applying. And I'm bringing it all the way around just in case I do a cut crease, but I don't know if I'm going to. And you can just build it up as much as you need to. Okay, so we have that on and I'm going to keep with the same brush. But we're going to go in to Blackcurrant, which is the darkest purple in the palette here. And we're just going to take some of that just to deepen the look a little bit. Mostly kind of keeping it to the outer corner. And bring it in to the crease, just the deepest part of the crease. And just as you've nothing left on your brush or very little left on your brush, you can just let it fade inwards. You can always wing it out if you want to. You can always kind of do whatever shape you want, whatever suits your own eye shape. You don't have to bring it in around all the way like I do. Um, but now what I'm going to do is take a MAC 217. Mine's a little bit stained pink, but I'm actually going to use blue on it. And we're going to go in to Blue Hawaiian, which is this guy right here. It's a like a satin kind of finish. So it's not fully matte, but it's not super shiny either. It will probably give a bit of a sheen to the skin. So you can kind of play with that yourself. I'm just going to use that to start buffing out the purple, kind of overlapping them first. Just to get a bit of colour going. Particularly on the outer corners where I want it to be the more prominent. So when we've got something like that, I'm going to go back in with my purple brush, my 221. I'm not picking up any more colour because there's loads on the brush. And just go back in, re-intensify and you can get your blend the way you want it to. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone for a bit. I might blend more later, I'll see. Um, What I want to do now though is do my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, we're kind of going to do the same idea. Um, we are going to go in to a small little flat smudgy brush as per usual um, for my bottom lower lash line. And I'm going to go back into grape, the lighter of the two purples. And we're just going to run that as close as we can get along the lower lash line. I'm going to take a really, really small little bit of the blacker and shade on that same brush. And we're just going to go really really close to the lashes I'm not even bringing it down I'm just running it along the lashes just to really dirt like deepen and smoky that up a little bit I may use the blue to kind of blend a little bit more underneath um along the edges but I'm going to do that once I've got my under eye concealer on because I want to be able to blend those areas more so we are going to do shimmer on the lid um do I want to do a cut crease Okay, so I am going to do a cut crease because I think it'll be cool to give more of like a structured kind of look, even though the crease is quite smoky. Um, I'm going to take my rose gold brush from BH Cosmetics in number seven it is. It's the really, really flat one. Taking some more of my P. Louise base. We're just going to run that on the lid. Okay, and then we are going to go... Ooh, my palette is sideways. We're going to go into Blue Lagoon, the most beautiful blue in the palette. If you want to see more looks with this, I did do an entire video, like not a get ready bit with me, but I was going out. I just hit my mic there. I do apologize. Um, I was heading out, so I was getting ready to go out, um, but I just showed my makeup in it and it's a very, very colorful look. I tried to use as many colors as I possibly could fit on my eye and yeah, I had a lot of fun with this palette. I'm just popping this on the lid all over where we pop the concealer, except for that inner little pocket right there. So just in there. 
and then just here where the purple and blue meet I'm just taking my purple brush again and just kind of wiggle over the line get a little bit of a blend going okay so for that little inner corner part there I'm going to take the shade bubblegum which is like a light it's kind of like a bluey duochrome like kind of but kind of not it's a very icy blue anyway and um, I'm going to take that on the same brush and we're just going to pop that in here and just kind of wiggle over where it meets that other blue. Should blend easy, easy enough anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna do my under eye concealer and I'll be back in a sec and then we'll finish off some inner corner and I might do a little bit more blending underneath. Okay, so I have my concealer on and all that kind of jazz and I kind of fixed just the edges a little bit of things. I went in and just blend a little bit more um, kind of up close off camera so you don't see me go out of frame. Um, so let's move on to my lower lash line. So I already have my purple on as we can see. I'm gonna kind of clean off my 217 just because there is a tiny bit of purple on it and I just want it to be normal blue. And we're gonna go back into the blue Hawaiian. More so on the tip of the brush just so we can control a little bit more. And I'm gonna use that kind of like I did up here to blend out the purple. And then we're just gonna finish off with a little bit of inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna go into Coconut Milk, which is a shimmery white, which is beautiful. It's actually kind of like a shimmery cream, but it looks quite white. I'm pretty sure it's white-ish. It's like an off white, but it does come out very, very bright on the eye. I'm just gonna pop that onto my inner corner. Okay, so I am pretty much finished with all my colors and all my shadows. I'm gonna fly off. I'm gonna do some liner, lashes, mascara, cheeks lips and I'll show you what's on my face. Alrighty guys so this is the finished look. I kind of went a bit vampy with it because I quite liked it. I thought this lip was quite nice with it. Um, so let's go through quickly what I have on my face. So for my liner I use for my top liner I use my MAC Dare Black Dual Dare All Day Waterproof Liner. It's a pencil on one end and I use the liquid on the other end. I didn't use the pencil I just used the liquid. Because for my pencil, I was between doing purple or blue for my pencil, but I thought because the purple is down here, I'll do blue in the waterline and then it's like blue on top and then it's like purple around that. Um, so I use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Deep End, just like a nice turquoise. Matches like perfectly with the colour on my lid. So we use that. Um, my mascara is my MDM Flow because that's what I've been, my greater than mascara, that's what I've been using um, recently. And then for my no for my lashes sorry I thought show you my cheeks but I'm not on my cheeks yet I use my Eyelor Enchanted lashes these ones have got like flowers in the box um, it's called Flower Ranger and they're just really really fluffy and thick and they're really nice but they still show off the makeup really nicely so I do quite like those then for my cheeks for my contour I use my MAC Next to Skin blush to contour just lightly I didn't go too mental with the contour I wanted to keep like not everything really dark and then for my blusher I use my sleek blush by three in the color scheme sweet cheeks and I use the shade dolly mix which is the kind of lilac color in the middle the matte lilac right there on my cheeks just give a bit of color and then to add to the kind of purple glow effect that we have going on like with the lilac -y cheeks the purple on the eyes and then I was doing the purple on the lip I use my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finished in the shade Soft Frost. Soft Frost. So it's like a white with like a purple violet-y kind of reflex to it. You might be able to see it on camera, you might not, but you can see it on my cheeks right there. It kind of, instead of giving like a super highlight look, it actually kind of amplifies your blush a little bit more. It's beautiful, love it. And then onto the lips, I was like, will I do bright, will I do dark, will I do whatever? And then I seen this and I was like, oh, never use this. And I have an excuse now to use this. Um, so firstly, I line my lips with the shade Deep Cherry um, Lip Pencil from Sleek. It's one of their twist up pencils, like a dark color. I just use it to line the lips and get a shape. I didn't even fill them in with it. But the color that I went on my lips is a Catrice Prismachrome lipstick and it's 040. And it looks like so deep and so blue and it's so pretty, but it's more like a, um, like a duochrome. Um, it's prismachrome is what it's called. It's quite blue there, but on me it comes out more like purple, like a violet -y purple with a bit of a berry undertone to it. It's lovely. I like it a lot. 
and I had it on my teeth. I like it so much I'm gonna eat it. Um, but I never used that colour, so I was like, I'm gonna use it now. I wanted to use it now. So yeah, that's everything that is on my face. So let's see what we do for look number two. Alrighty guys, I hope again it's not too bright out because the sun is out again. Woohoo! Um I've been out, I've been walking in the sun, and yeah, so it's fun. I I've got my lights on as well, so I'm hoping everything looks balanced and okay. But let's do a second look. So we are going to go again with our September Rose Slush Palette because that's what this video is all about. Um, I'm feeling green today and I'm actually feeling a little bit of this orangey colour with the green and maybe a little bit of the pink. So a little bit of a weird one. And I'm also feeling a halo eye. That's the way I think I want to go with this. So we are going to start. I've already got on my face. I decided because it's a bit warmer, it's a bit more sunny out. Um, I wanted a bit more refresher kind of skin, even though I'm still having a bit of a... I'm getting the odd spots still, like this one here is quite sore. Um, and I've got a couple on my forehead. These are ones that are just going away. I'm still going to go light with my foundation and I'm using my MAC Face and Body Foundation. I've already got my under eye concealer on just because I felt like it. Um, and I might put more on, so we'll just see. I've got my Collection Cosmetics Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair and as my eyeshadow primer I've got my Too Faced shadow insurance so that's where we're going with this so far so let's start with our greens oh, what way do we want to do this I think I'm gonna start with the cucumber lime the medium green um, and get like a general shape going and then I can use the lighter one to blend out and then the deeper sour apple to deepen um, but we'll just kind of go with that and see how we get on I'm going to use a MAC 221 and a small little skinny blending brush and we're going to take the cucumber lime and just start building that. And I mostly want to keep this in that very outer pocket. I'm trying not to bring it too much onto the lid because I do want to keep a nice bit of space on the lid. And then the same out here, more in that little pocket on the outer corner. I'm going to go in with a 217 brush and we're going to go into Lemon and Lime, which is the lighter green, that one red there. And we're just going to take some of that on that brush and just start blending out that colour. I'll just give it more of like a yellowy, lemony kind of colour. It's gorgeous. And you can start kind of bringing that into the crease a little bit, but I'm not even, I'm not even going to try to do that. I just want it to flow with my eye as much as it can. So same on the inside, just blend that in. Next, I'm gonna go into the Sour Apple, that one there, and we're gonna take some of that on the same 221 brush that we used at the beginning. Tap a little bit off, and again, in that deepest little pocket, do the same technique, just take it in the pocket and then just wiggle your brush around. And when I say the pocket, it's the, the bit where your eye sinks in the, the furthest like when you press it will kind of go in almost with your eyeball it's gross but yeah that's where you're putting it same on the inner corner just build that up a little bit then I'm going back in with that 217 kind of with whatever's left on it first we can always add more of that brighter green we'll just use that to soften that color out okay so we've got the upper lid done ish and um, well the crease anyway so let's go in to a bit of shimmer. I'm going to use my Too Faced Glitter Insurance because I find um, I'm just so used to now using a glitter glue underneath or a glitter primer underneath all my shimmers. So it just makes more sense for me to do that. So I'm just taking a little bit of that on my on the back of my hand, just like a little, little Debbie. And we're going to just take my finger and we're just going to pop that onto the lid. Now the colour that I'm going to do on my lid, they are contrasting to green. It's kind of like a blood orange which has a bit of red in it so that's quite contrasting to green and also a pink so bear with me on the blend here and then I'm taking the tropical fruit which is this kind of orangey blood orange is the way I would describe it and um, it's not quite red it's not quite burnt orange it's still bright but it's a blood orange and we are going to pop that on the eye right beside that green and on this bit right beside the green but just press it on making sure you get your colour on there then taking my 221 again and just tap over where it meets the green 
and then go back in with whatever's left on your flat brush and just kind of go back and forth until you're happy but try not to over blend too much if you can help it and then just to add something a little bit extra weird i'm gonna go in to the shade strawberry up here which is like the shimmery light pink has a teeny teeny little bit of like a purpley undertone in it and we're just gonna pop that down the center it just gives an extra bit of color onto the eye so we are gonna go back to our greens and i'm gonna do a bit on my lower lash line so i'm going to do oh I might start with sour apple and work my way up lighter and I'm going to take it on just like a little flat smudgy brush kind of like my 214 from MAC my little flat smudgy one that I always use but it's actually like a Harry Potter one that I got in Primark and um, same kind of shape though it's a bit fluffier maybe but not really and we're just going to run that along all along my lower lash line then I'm taking my 221 again my small fluffy blending brush taking cucumber lime get a lot of kick up from that color by the way just saying um the cucumber lime the first green that we use like the mid-tone green and we're just gonna kind of use that to buff out the sour apple shade and this is why i kind of put my under eye concealer on first so that way i can just blend until my heart's content then i come back in with some of the lemon and lime which is the more yellowy one the one that we use to blend everything out with on my 217 and just right along the edge we're just going to go in and add that bit of a brighter lemony green coming through and make sure that it matches the top. I'm going to take a small little bit of that um, lemon and lime also and just pop that on my inner corner in here. Just kind of where my tear duct is because when I put my highlight on my inner corner I want a little bit of green still there. Okay so we're almost done with the shadows. I'm going to go into the coconut milk which is the lightest almost white it's like an off white and taking it on a small little i think this is a lip brush is it a lip brush detailer brush from um real techniques and we could just pop that a little bit of shimmer in here you'll still have the kind of green poke through it but at least it's a bit lighter as well Alrighty, guys so this is the finished look i'm afraid even a bright look today well kind of bright well yeah it is kind of bright. Um, I know I did a dark one, now I did a bright one. Maybe I'll do a nude one and give a bit of variety. Um, so let's go through quickly what I have on my face. So on my eyes, just to finish them off, I popped on, a, I wanted like a rust coloured pencil, something that's kind of going to match the top here. Not pink, not red. I wanted something kind of in between. Um, so I went for the rust jumbo eye pencil from NYX, which is a rust. <laughs> um, and it matches quite well and still gives a nice bit of definition on the lower lash line. Um, for my mascara I use my MDM Flow Greater Than Mascara as per usual. Um, for my lashes I use the House of Lashes um, Siren Lashes and they're basically those kind of ones that are choppy and they're small or they're small in the outer corners and long in the inner corner. I'll just zoom in a little bit just so you can see. Can you see? Yeah. Um, so that's how they look. They're really nice. And then for my cheeks I kind of kept the skin quite like dewy and glowy. Um, I didn't use too much powder so I wanted to use kind of all creams for my cheeks so I use my Huda Beauty Tantor contour and bronzer cream in the shade Fair. Give you a little look, you only need a little bit because it's super super pigmented. It's that colour there, it's the lightest one and yeah I just I used a small small little bit and really buffed it in and I did it on my forehead and everything down the sides of my nose, give me a bit more of a summery kind of glow to the skin. And then on my blusher, I use my Model Co. Um, Cream Rouge Cheek and Lip in the shade Just Peachy, which is not peach at all. It's more of a bright pink, <laughs> corally kind of pink. Very nice. And then for my highlight, I use two, and I intentionally use two. I use this one here. Um, they're both the same. It's the Kiko Metal Infusion Highlighting Drops. This is Sweet Dreams, which is a bit more like a peachy gold kind of colour. And then this one is Platinum Rose, which is a bit um, of a lighter kind of icy pink. And then as far as lips go, I use two lip pencils. First, I went in with Max Rosy Rim lip pencil, just a bright peachy coral shade. Um, and I used that line my lips and used it all over the lips. Then just to define a little bit more on the outer corners and like around the edges, I went in with Sore Lip Liner from MAC, which is a bit more of a rosy colour. And then my lipstick is Costa Chic a nice bright corally nice and creamy kind of texture very pretty and it matches like the center 
of my eye very nice and contrasts off the green kind of bounces off the green really nice so yeah that's everything that's on my face that is our second look using our september bow slush palette so i love this look by the way just saying and i love this palette so i love this look okay so welcome to look number three our final look and yes my hair is very curly right now i just curled it and sprayed it and i'm just leaving it alone letting it sit and then i'll brush it out towards the end but today we're going to do a two-tone two-tone dye um if that makes sense we're going to do like one color on this side probably like pink orange and then on the bottom we're going to do orange pink so it's gonna be the opposite on both eyes but like two-tone dye yeah cool okay um, and we're going to just do like kind of the same amount of matte same amount of shimmers on both sides of each color but we've got gorgeous colors to work with so we're going to be doing all these oranges and maybe like some of the deeper kind of reds and pinks um so yeah let's get into it before i get into it i'm just gonna go quickly through what i have on my face i've got my mac studio water wave foundation spf 30 in the shade nc15 that's on my skin right now just touched it and then i've got my benefit cabrow like normal in shade two and then i've also got to prime my eyes my Too Faced shadow insurance and we'll probably use the glitter glue probably the glitter insurance from Too Faced as well so let's start i have to remember that one side is one color and one side is going to be a different color so i'm going to kind of do each step and then we'll just go from there okay so i'm going to do this eye is pink and then this eye is going to be orange so we're going to go into cotton candy which is the lightest of the pinks and we're going to take that this is just a mac 2 two four and um, trying to remember <laughs> and this is gonna go in to my crease real soft and real fluffy just blend out all edge everything it's gonna be a simple enough eye itself it's just that the colors are gonna be swapping over so that's that then i'm gonna go in to a makeup geek soft on brush which is basically like the same kind of brush and we're gonna go into the shade peach lemonade up here and this is going to go on this side into the crease. Okay, so fabulous. I love it. So now we're going to go into our brighter kind of versions of each colour. So we're going to start pink again. I'm going to go into pink lemonade here, which is a super bright, bright, hot pink. And I'm just going to take this random little, it's just a little black kind of brush. Kind of That's my two brushes I'm going to use. This is the Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. So that one will work. I just don't have two of these and I want to keep everything a bit separate. So we're going to take that shade and he is going to go to the outer corner. Look at that. And just into the crease. And then taking my 224 again. With nothing on it. Just whatever was left on it. And blend. Then we're going to take the defined crease brush and we're going to go into orange soda, which is the neon orange. And it's so beautiful so pretty just taking some of that and we're going to go to the outer corner over this side and same again take the fluffy brush that i use for this side just with whatever's left on it and use that to soften out all your edges okay so then i'm going back in with my smaller little fluffy brush not really that fluffy but smaller blending brush for my pink side and we're going to go into a deeper pink this is sour cherry it's a lovely 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 pink bit of a satin finish maybe but like nothing too too noticeable it's just going to be used to deepen anyway i still want it to be nice and bright of a look but it'll just give a bit more definition and then going back in with the defined crease brush for the orange side i know it's very back and forward but that's the whole point of two-toned looks and we're going to go into tiger's blood which is the darkest orange kind of like a blood orange kind of color and he's going to go on this side just to deepen as well Okay, so I've just done my under eye concealer just before I do my lower lash line and I've got my two, two and fours. Um, I have two of them um, because I love this brush so much and we're just going to work on the lower lash line. But we're going to go the opposite way now. So we're going to do orange this side on the lower lash line and pink this side on the lower lash line. So let's start with the orange. We're going to go into... I... Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to go into the pink peach lemonade sorry peach lemonade the lighter of the orange and we're just going to run that under as thick as you want because we can also use that color to help blend out the darker colors we put down here then next we're going to take the orange soda the brighter uh, pink not pink orange the brighter orange um, and we're going to pop that a bit closer to the lashes on the lower lash line and then we're going to take the orange blood 
or tiger's blood. I cannot get these names right at all today. And we're going to take that and that's going to go the closest to the lashes you can get it. Okay, and then over to our orange side. That's now going to be pink on the lower lash line. We're going to go into cotton candy. Can't see that. There it is. Just do the same thing. So you're just going to run that along the lower lash line and you can use that as your blending colour. Then on the same brush we're going to go into pink lemonade which is the brighter brighter pink and we're going to run that a bit closer to the lashes. It's all the same steps you're just swapping out your colours. And then we're going to take a little bit of sour cherry and this is just going to go right up against your lashes. Okay so next we're just going to pop on a little bit of Too Faced glitter insurance and that's just going to go on the lid on both sides just to add a bit of shimmer and make the shimmers stand out really nicely against these colours. Okay, so starting with the pink side, I'm going to go into Strawberry, which is the shimmery pink in the palette. It's kind of like a cooler toned, almost like a lavender pink. And he's just going to go on the lid on this side. So I'm just cleaning off my little flat brush that I used for the pink side. I just cleaned off pretty well so there's no pink on it. And we're going to go into the shade Mango, which is the lighter of the shimmery orange. You do have more of a blood orange down here, which I used in my last look, but... This is a bit more of a lighter peach. It's kind of the same as the peach lemonade, but shimmery. So we're going to pop that on this side. Okay, and then our last little step that we're going to do on both sides is use the coconut milk, which I've used in every one of these looks, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Um, we're just going to pop that onto the inner corner on both sides. Okay, so that's what's pretty much done for the eyes and the shadows and the palette. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the rest of my face, my eyes, cheeks, lips, everything off camera. And I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look. This is everything for my face, so let's go through it all. So quickly on my eyes, I used my little, where is it gone? I used my Cat Von D tattoo liner um, just to line my eye. You can use any kind of black liner you want. And then for my waterline on the orange lower lash line, I used Puppy, which is orange. And on the pink side, I used Boots, which is like a bright pink. They match pretty perfectly. They're from Colourpop, both of the pencil liners. And then I've got my MDM Flow Greater Than Mascara, which I just hit myself in the face with, which is fabulous. And then for my lashes, I use these guys. These are the LA Splash Dauntless Lashes. These are in the style Stunner. Don't know why I'm showing you the box. That's what the box looks like. They're fabulous. They're really soft. Not too, too dramatic, but still enough to really lift the eye. Then for my cheeks, we used my bronzer. I just used my Cheek Parade, actually, um, from Benefit. This came out a few years ago. I just used the Hula Light, which they sell normally. And I also used California, which is like this corally pink kind of colour. So that was my blush and my bronzer. And then for my highlight, I used my current fave. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Blossom Glow. It gives a nice bit of a pinky kind of sheen on the cheeks. And then like the blush is corally, so it ties in nice with the orange. And then my lip is a bit of a concoction because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I'm doing Whirl Lip Liner, my very, very little baby one. I do have another one somewhere, but I actually couldn't find it. So I just used my little one. I then went over that with some Flesh Pot Lipstick which is like a really pale nude that has a bit of a pink undertone in it. Then I went in with the NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Colour, which is quite a pigmented gloss. This is in the shade Sugar Coated. It's kind of a peach kind of colour and it's really nice, but I wanted to add a bit more pink to that. So then I went in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair, which is a bit more pink. So that's how we got this. That's what this is. So yeah, that is everything on my face. Okay guys, so we are finished doing our three looks, one palette using our September Rose Slush Palette. It is such a fun palette. It's one of my favourite palettes. It makes me really inspired when I look at it, which is what I always want to have a palette. I never want to look at a palette and be like, I'm going to do the same thing every day. I want to look at this and be like, oh, I'm going to try purple. Oh, I'm going to try green. Ooh. And then I hope these kind of looks give you something to kind of work from and some ideas. And I will be doing a palette bingo on this palette as well soon. Um, I have to film it, but soon. And yeah, I love that palette. It's one of my favourite palettes that I ever bought and I'm so happy that I have it. So yeah, if you did like this video, then give me a big thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments what you think of the looks and what was your favourite. I think... Hmm, I'm wondering if this is my favourite or not. I'm between this and on the second one. The first one I loved, but the second one had the green in it, which I really liked. And then this is really like 
topsy-turvy like weird which I quite love and um, so yeah I'm between the second and third one I think so yeah you can let me know what was your favorite what would you wear and hit subscribe down below to see the palette bingo coming up with the September Rose Slush palette and also to see more of these three looks from palettes more palette bingos more palette talk which I love and yeah I'll see you in the next video guys bye